Andy here from Tutskafe.net. Welcome to my HTML tutorial series. Uh, in this specific lecture, I will cover HTML classes, or in other words, HTML class attribute. As always, the best way to learn is doing something, so we will learn by doing. I definitely believe that you will learn the HTML classes in this video. Watch the video and please try to code what you're learning, okay? Let's start with coding our HTML skeleton. Third type HTML. HTML. Head. Closing head. Body. And closing body. Closing HTML. Okay. I'm gonna add a title here. Um, HTML classes. So level one heading. Hey. I am uh, an important heading. Okay. So, um, a paragraph. We can add a paragraph here. This is um, an ordinary. So I will show you um, how an HTML class works, but first of all, I have to add style here, style element. This is um, internal style, okay? So I can add uh, my CSS rules here between these style tags, okay? So, um, this is a period, so my class name is red heading and I'm opening and closing curly brackets so all CSS rows must be placed between curly brackets, okay? Color red. So um, this is a class name uh, and if I add this class name here with class attribute, What is my class name? My class name is red heading. Okay. Red. Yeah. Red heading. So this text uh, is going to be red. Let's see. Yes. My, my level one heading is now um, red. Okay. So both. Uh, the CSS class name and HTML class attributes name are exactly the same, okay? And another point is there must be a period before uh, in front of this red heading class name. This class name um, could be anything like um, anything like red Okay, so I have to change this to red. Okay, yes, it still works because this is red and this is red too. Okay, the thing about classes is uh, I can use class 
more than once uh, let's say p class red so this text is also gonna be red yeah unlike the id selector we can use a class selector more than once as many elements as possible so i define a css class name here my class name is red and this is a class name because uh, there is a period in front of this name okay so uh, if there there was a hash like this so that means this is an id selector okay but we have period on in front of our uh, name okay so that means this is a class so i have to use class attribute uh, to work this out okay so level one class uh, red so that means this whole level one heading uh, will be affected by this red named class okay css class so I can add um, another paragraph here but my class name is a blue so let's check and see yeah that the last paragraph uh, is not affected by this CSS rule because uh, the class attribute value or name is different okay so I would define a class name like hmm, sorry about that blue so color blue okay this time uh, this will work yes I wanna uh, remove this whole thing and make another example so I define um, if and text okay my class name is different text and um, colors I use color picker is my color name font weight bold text decoration underline and um, okay that's enough so um, in the body I have a level 2 heading a paragraph another paragraph Just a paragraph this is another paragraph okay I want my first paragraph to be affected is different text class so I have to add a class attribute and the value must be this okay different text so i um copy that and paste it here so yes this is a level two heading just a paragraph this is another paragraph why only uh, my first paragraph is affected this css rules these css rules because 
only my first paragraph has the class attribute and the value different text okay that's the reason so it is simple to understand how a uh, class HTML classes works and uh, how can we use with our HTML elements I hope you understand well if you have any question uh, feel free to ask use comment section and I'm always here to help you thank you guys watching this video